Hello everyone. I demoed a song last week called Relic, which is me playing acoustic guitar. It's a song I wrote pretty quickly, and I want to be able to uh, turn that into actually a pretty nice demo with some good instrumentation there. And I want one of my cousins to sing this song. He has a really great voice because I do not have a great voice. If you go there and listen to the Relic thing, you'll see I don't have a great voice. But Aaron Silver is an awesome uh, country singer. He's a nice looking dude. My first cousin, he's, he's the guy that can really deliver on the vocals on this song. And so what have I done? I thought I'd just, just go ahead and do a little demo here of how I use Band in a Box. So here I'm recording the screen in Snagit. And what I've done, I, I, I put together all my song lyrics, and I have those on a Google document, which I usually put over on another monitor over here to the right. So I know how the chord changes are going to be. I know what I'm going to do. Um, and, and what you can do in Band in a Box, you can set up a, like an intro, choruses, and an ending, right? That's not always how I do Band in a Box. I'll tell you the reason why. I'm one of those guys that likes to change up the chords a lot. If you have a chorus, or a when I say chorus, a verse and chorus is what Band in a Box actually does, that is static. In other words, it's the same every time. Then you can do it so you can tell it to play through three different uh, runs of that verse and chorus, and you can have your bridge and everything in there as well. That's if things don't change. Um, and you can tell it to vary the middle. There's some various different things you can do in Band in a Box that are pretty darn sophisticated. Me, I'm one of those guys that likes to maybe make the chords a little different as I go through, maybe a little more complicated. So what I do is since the choruses don't stay the same, they, they change a little bit each time. A good example is Take It Easy, where the Eagles do uh, you know, a chord thing, and then at the very end, they throw the same minor in out of nowhere. Well, I kind of do things like that. So uh, the way I do it, I do one whole big long chorus. So if you look here at my band in the box, you can see I have my song starting at number one and ending at 255. Well, 255 happens to be the longest that you can do a song that measures in Band in a Box. So, and this song, if I put it all together and, and uh, you know, didn't do the loopable type uh, choruses or, or verse structure that Band in a Box use, it runs out at 255 and my song had to go to about, I don't know, 280 measures. And you can see I'm at, at 175 tempo and I actually had this in a waltz up here, so it actually is a 3-4 song. I was looking to see where 3-4 is on this. I don't see that it's there, but truly it is. It's a 3-4 song, 1-2-3, 1-2-3, 1-2-3. 1-2-3. So I picked a, a style that I liked, and I put the entire song. If I scroll down here, you'll see it goes all through, and I have all my different... The, these things are the A's and B's. Uh, these are different s sorts of styles or styles that you have within a style. And, and where you put these B's in or A's in, you have the A style and the B style. So I'm indicating that at a certain point in the song structure, I want either the B style or the A style. And that usually happens around choruses and bridges and verse changes and play anywhere where you want drum riffs to roll in. It's actually very simple to do. So I have this entire thing. It's all in the key of D. And then I get here to the end and you see these little A's with the dots. That means I'm going to stop on an A chord. I'm just going to play a big A chord, dun, and then I'm going to do a dun, 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 dun and I have my uh, one, two, three uh, chord changes here. So these are, I, I, it's better to easy, I guess easier to show you if this works. I hope you can hear this. I'll go ahead and start on this uh, D chord right here, and you'll hear the stop come in right here. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? So you've got, you're playing, you've got your chords going, you got the big stop. If you put three dots after this A, then it has a, a thing called a hold. And so there are places where I have holds. You see this A7 right here at the end actually has a big long hold where it, it, it just, dun, it holds the chord out. I could give you an example of that, but maybe by starting from this E minor here. So you see what happened there? A hold for drama's sake. So I've got these little holds and these stops and things built in. So I've got through all of that, but this does not have the ending that I want because as you can see, I ran out of, of bars at 255. So what do you do to, to fix that? Well, I'll tell you what I did. I just copied this entire song and I deleted the first 48 bars of it. So I made a copy of the song that, that has the right ending on it. So I'm gonna go to file, I'll go here to open, uh, 
and I'll go to uh, condensed with ending, original country version I call this. So I'm not going to change anything with this. I'll say no. And so, so here it is. This actually, I cut the first 48 bars off. So if I go to the very end of this one, we have my, uh, we have my real ending for this song. And this song, as you come to the end, it slows down. So you'll go here, this G probably, if I click on this and do a right click, and I do uh, bar settings, you'll go here and you can see that I, went my, I changed my tempo on this bar to 140 beats per, per minute. So I went down from 175 to 140. So I, what I want, I want this to end with a slower uh, version of, you know, of, of a uh, verse tag ending, right? I'm going to cancel that. I actually got even slower here, maybe on this D. So I'm going to go and I'll do the bar settings here and look. And okay, it didn't have the change there. Where do I do, where do I make my change? It might be here on this end. Let's do this end. It'll check the bar settings on this one. And if you look on this, I'm down to 115 uh, tempo. So what I'm doing, I wanted it to kind of, as you would say in music, I guess, a retard where it slows down at the very end. So let's listen to how that worked out for me. I'll start from this E7 chord here. So, so as you can see, it's kind of cool. I've got my ending that slows down at the very end. It ends on one big dramatic chord. So what's my next step with this typically? Well, my, my workflow is to go ahead and get these things out as waves so I can edit them in a, in a digital audio workstation. Um, I love band in a box and everything, but it doesn't allow me to do some of the subtle things that I want to be able to do. So what I usually do is, is I, I would have the, the song, the main part of the song, I'll output the waves for each of these instruments. As you see these up here, you have different instruments, bass, guitar, drums. I have a pedal steel in this one. What I happen to do with this particular song is I actually picked two different styles. I had one style that has like a real traditional kind of country pedal steel, a few distorted guitars and things. Then I had another one that's more of a sort of a modern country in the same style, a waltz. Well, not the same style, but the same time signature in the same 3-4 pattern. And I like it had a really good strumming. Um, 12-string um, guitar, and it also had a really kind of sparkly, almost like a Rickenbacker sounding guitar in it. So I liked that style too. So I exported, uh, I, I did a save of, of all the exported files, the WAV files from the country style, and then also from sort of the more modern, sparkly country style. So how do you do that? Well, here's how I do it. I go up over here where it says WAV, and so I have my, this is my, happens to be my ending one, but I did, I did this with the ending so I could paste it on the end, but I also did it with the regular verse. But you click on this, and you can do Save All Tracks as Wave with Options. And it gives you a little tip down here what you can do with your direct text. I, I don't even worry about that. I know what I'm doing with this. And so what I did, I wanted to do one wave per file. And you have to choose where it's going to go. And you can see here I'm going to my iDrive Relic Condensed uh, for Ending. So what I did, I, I, just, I already exported these wave files that could go in and be part of my uh, of my. Adobe Audition is what I'm using for the for my DAW digital audio workstation, and I did that. I did a I did a this right here. You click on this DXI Direct Render Save Wave, and it saves the waves out so that you can go ahead and edit them. And so here underneath this, I have my my DAW. So here's what I've done. Yeah, I have my drums that came from the original country. My bass that came from the original country one. A clean electric. You can see I've got it panned a little bit to the left. Here's my pan. Here's how I've adjusted the gain a little bit. I've got the dirty electric and I've got it panned the other direction. And you can see what I've done is I've, I've clipped these. You know, I, I don't want so much of any of that to come on until I'm ready for it to come on. So the 12 string comes in from the beginning, the drums and the bass. And if I, if I widen this on out, you can see where other parts come in. So I have this thing, it's called a piano, but really it's the dirty electric guitar. It's just it exported with the, the word piano on it. It's probably something I could have done to change that. I just didn't do it. Uh, the pedal steel says strings on it, but it's really pedal steel. So you see where I have pedal steel coming in and out. And I've got electric guitar. And so I've got it set so it'll come through my headphones. So I don't have the headphones here. and I, don't, um, I could reroute it differently. But I think what I'd rather do is just go ahead and try to sing this thing again so that my cousin can see the dip, the changes that I've made and where the guitar solo 
uh, parts and all are supposed to come in. So one more time, I'm going to painfully do this because I'm not a good singer, but I'm going to go ahead and sing, show you what it sounds like. This is all 100% generated from Band in a Box. Now, I'm going to go back and put an electric guitar on there. I'm probably going to re replace one of these electric guitars. And probably I might even place the replace the electric or the uh, I might even replace the twelve string guitar that I really like because in some places it's just a bit too much and I think I'm just gonna play my Martin six string on that and I'll replace that twelve string thing. I'll probably put some lead guitars in it, maybe some Telecasters or a, a Les Paul or something, a couple of little lead parts. I even have a friend uh, that's offered to do some lead guitar playing. I'd love to hear what he comes up with. So he might do some bass and some electric guitar on this. So here we go. Without further uh, without further delay, I'll go ahead and play or play this so you can hear what it's going to sound like, and I'll go ahead and sing the song. I'm going to drink some throat coat tea before I try this. It helps just a little bit, and every little bit helps, so I'm going to do it. Uh, enjoy this. Peace to all who watch. If you have any questions, uh, send the questions. I'll tell you. But it's, it's, it's very simple, nice workflow, and you can create some pretty cool music. You can do it fast. I only spent maybe two hours putting this whole thing together where I would have spent days trying to do it if I were trying to play the drums and the bass and the pedal steel. I do play a little pedal steel, but I suck at it. You know, and get to all the different guitars. It's cool to be able to have all of this come together for you for a fairly nice demo, and you'll see what I mean. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you like. A million miles have passed beneath my wheels So far away from home And not much to call my own Hoping the cards will fall in place for just one deal I guess I've let my best year slip, slip, slide away To dream beyond today Well, I've tried to walk a righteous path And spread love everywhere But when my story's told When my body's cold Will there be someone to care? Oh, I'm like a worn-out shoe The worst kind of useless food a relic washed up on a new sweat shore Shuffling from day to day Praying for God to light my way Living with less but hoping that someday I'll see I've traveled both far and wide It's not like I haven't worked for all I've ever had And although the road's been hard Still I'll draw one more card Hoping that love will lift some good luck from bad My best year slip, slip, slide away I may not have the strength, the heart, the faith To breathe beyond today Still I'll try to walk that righteous path And bless each passerby When my story's told, when my body's cold Hope there's someone round to cry I feel like a worn out shoe Or some kind of helpless fool I'm like a rabbit on Some lost and lonely shore 
shuffling from day to day Praying for God to light my way Living with less but hoping that someday turned out.